Somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, there's this tiny island that is planning for its own extinction. Tuvalu. The tiny island nation is slowly sinking into the ocean. That's why Tuvalu has decided that they will drag and drop themselves into the clouds to escape the rising tide. Not metaphorically, but literally. They are creating a fully digital nation that plans on surviving long after their physical land ceases to exist. But it's not that simple. Why is Tuvalu exactly sinking? And how are they uploading themselves into the clouds? For that, we have to back up a little. Tuvalu is wedged in between Hawaii and Australia. You actually have to zoom in quite a bit to find it. No, a bit more, a little more, a little more. There we have it. It's actually a collection of reef islands so small that the entire country's landmass wouldn't even fit into a commercial airport. Its total landmass is about 26 square kilometers. There's roughly 11,000 people who call Tuvalu their home and Tuvalu actually has a pretty stable economy. And that is in big parts because of Twitch.tv. Because one of Tuvalu's strongest exports is their top level domain .tv. It earns them millions in licensing fees. About 9% of their entire national revenue right behind selling fishing licenses. And fun fact, Anguilla, the British overseas territory, does exactly the same with their domain .ai, which might have been even the bigger lottery hit in the domain tank. But while Tuvalu is enabling people with way too much free time to watch someone sleep for eight hours, they face a much more important problem, the sea. Tuvalu is actually only 4.5 meters above sea level. To put that into perspective, that's roughly four and a half basketball hoops high, which separates the land of Tuvalu between the depths of the sea. Ocean water is already causing them trouble, infiltrating the soil, poisoning their crops and turning fresh water supplies into, well, not so fresh water supplies. Due to this, they have to import a lot of stuff, like almost all of it. And the tricky thing is, these basketball hoops are only going to get less and less. Scientists estimate that by 2100, there is not going to be a Tuvalu anymore. It won't be just severely flooded, but functionally erased from the world map. So what to do? Move? Psh, that's crazy. Abandoning their land would also mean abandoning their culture, history, as well as sovereignty. They're not just losing those tiny floating rocks in the ocean. They are about to lose their culture. So instead of giving up, they decided to preserve Tuvalu in the world's first digital nation. And no, this doesn't mean just opening a Minecraft server, make the president admin with creative mode and call it the day. No, this means having a government, law and order, territory, and a community which will exist in the cloud. In 2022, Tuvalu's foreign minister stood at the virtual podium, knee deep in virtual waters, and announced that Tuvalu would become the first fully digital country in the world. And here's how it's being built. First, using LiDAR scans and 3D photos, they are recreating the island in their exact details, creating every aspect of Tuvalu in a virtual space. Every tree, every street, every boat, and every argument with your neighbor Gary you had over your shared fence. Secondly, they're moving their governments fully online. It will be hosted on the same platform that hosts I am Steve Coin, the blockchain. Passports, elections, marriage, legal business will all be secured and signed on the blockchain. Third point, they are creating a cultural archive. Items, songs, stories, histories, environmental sounds, the sounds of your neighbor Gary mowing their lawn at six in the morning, you know, things that make home feel home. So they don't just preserve images, but real raw culture. To put this simply, after Tuvalu is gone, you can visit its beaches, buildings, sounds and cultural heritage even after all the physical remains are managed, all through VR headsets. Now, obviously, uploading a whole country isn't just a matter of dragging and dropping some files onto the cloud and pat yourself on the back for a job well done. No, Tuvalu's internet used to run mostly through satellites, which is about as fast and stable as a potato tape to a router. So they are installing submarine fiber optics cables, which run through the ocean to increase their bandwidth. Because, I mean, they don't exactly have unlimited time. But here's the deal. This isn't their biggest problem. Can they actually exist without physical land? Let me quickly whip out my checklist on international law's definition of a country. To exist as a country, you need four things. First, permanent population. Check. Second, a government. Check. Third, the ability to enter relations with other states. Check. A defined territory? Yeah, well, here's where it gets kind of tricky. What exactly constitutes defined territory? It's kind of a gray area because is digital space considered as territory? Tuvalu says, well, we don't really care, and amended their constitution 
anyways. It now defines that the country continues to exist within its historical, cultural and legal frameworks. Even if the land vanishes, Tuvalu continues to exist. The use of this new technology is actually pretty smart, but Tuvalu is not the only country to make use of this. The City of London has started to use the same scanning technologies to archive underground pipes and cables, creating digital twins that future engineering projects can benefit from and prevent accidental pipe hits. Tuvalu will be the first digital country and continues to develop. And we actually, within our lifespan, will be able to see how this all plays out.